This is the Depstack 420 piece accessory kit for rotary tools. Let's take it out of the box. In the box is a really nice case that holds all of the accessories complete with a go handle. Now, doesn't that make it easy to find stuff? That is well laid out and everything stays put in the case. It won't flop around or fall out and then next time you open it, you have 46 of them that fell out and you have no idea where they went. Uh, it's nicely laid out and really nice. Works great with the Depstack rotary tool, but it can work with any rotary tool. So like I said, there are 420 pieces in here. I'm going to tell you about some that are in here, and then uh, we'll go over in some finer detail. So in no particular order, inside this case you get stainless steel, nylon, brass brushes, and polishing brushes as well. You get a flap wheel as well as polishing compound. There are small and large felt wheels, a couple of pointed felt wheels and the mandrel for it. There are diamond grinding needles, high-speed steel cutters, collets, a wrench, and a whetstone. There are silicon carbide and aluminum oxide grinding wheels, rubber emery wheels, and grinding wheels. There are silicon carbide and aluminum oxide cutoff wheels. There's a diamond wheel, fiberglass wheel, you get a bunch of sanding discs, as well as bands and the shanks for them. And there's also some high-speed steel drills in there. Here is a handy chart that Depstec has provided. It shows which bit works with which material. Feel free to pause the video so that you can go over this chart to make sure you use the correct bit. And you can also refer back to this video at any point to refresh your memory. So going over in a little bit greater detail, what's here, these are your mandrels here. This one with the screw point at the end is for use with the polishing discs. For example, they just kind of go on there. And these other ones can be used with the sanding discs and grinding wheels and stuff like that that are in here as well. You have rubber emery wheels. These are diamond needles for engraving and stuff like that. Drill bits. And then you have other grinding wheels made out of different types of stone. Rubber um, mandrel bands, if you will, for all of the sanding discs here. And then we get into the wire brushes. They give you kind of a pointy type brush like that in steel, nylon, and brass. These are polishing wheels made out of different materials, kind of like a fine, medium, and coarse, if you will, depending on what it is that you're going to be polishing. And larger brushes, again, in the stainless steel, nylon, and brass in different formats here, as you see. Down in the bottom here, over here, is your polishing compound. Is a little tight to get out. It's just a little tub of that. Right like that. Use with the felt wheels usually. And next door to that, right over here, for example, you got some cutoff wheels like that. So there's a whole bunch in there. Take out only what you need and leave the rest. Sanding bands are over here. There's small ones on the inside and larger ones on the outside. They do appear to be, based on what I'm feeling, about the same grit, if you will. You have a diamond wheel here, some collets, a flap wheel. Even that fits in nicely. This is for removing paint and stuff like that. You can use this. In fact, it's marked 80 for 80 grit, and that just snaps back in like that. And other grinding and sanding discs over here, as you see, for use with the mandrels, the whetstone, the wrench, the felt pads, as were explained earlier. You have everything you need here. There is a lot 
in here. It is impossible for me to show you everything that is here, but I will take out one of the grindy bits and put that in the tool just to give you an idea of how that works. So old rotary tools as far as how a bit mounts up in them are for the most part the same. There's going to be a lock for the shaft over here. Once you depress that button you'll unscrew that and then you'll be able to insert the bit like that and then tighten it back up. And You can pull it out a bit if you need. Whatever you want is fine like that and then using the wrench you put that on and tighten it in and now that it's tight in there it's ready to go so you can grind or do whatever you want also what's handy is the back end of the wrench looks like a really small screwdriver which is to fit right in here that's where the motor brushes are again similar story on other uh, rotary tools as well now 420 pieces there's a lot in here and you will be well prepared for just about any type of rotary tool job that you're going to need if you've ever gone to those big box stores home improvement stores you can find the bits they have them there and you'll walk out spending twenty dollars for five bits you can get a whole set of this for not much more than that it's really amazing and Remember that these are all small bits and they do have a finite lifespan. Things are going to wear out uh, in time. Um, but still, you know, to buy little onesies and twosies like that, it just doesn't make any sense. They're going to wear out the same either which way. It all depends on what you're cutting, grinding, or, or polishing, or anything like that. So you can always pick up replacements, but typically those are a bit costly in singles and doubles and stuff like that sometimes you'll find a pack of them but um, they're available online as well uh, I'm sure you want to see as far as you know cutting and drilling and doing stuff with this what I'll do is I'll cut in the video of doing that work using this rotary tool from Depstech to give you an idea of how just some of these will work but with that, that is going to wrap up this review of the 420-piece Rotary Tool Accessory Kit from Depstech. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Over here, I have this piece of wood. Um, this unfortunately doesn't stick to here, but there's a piece hanging off of it and another piece there. Let's see if we can uh, sand that down using this. We'll go to kind of there for speed. A little more. Nice and smooth there now without any problem. Let's see if we could take this little piece off over there. Let's see if I could do this a little closer here. A little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. That worked. And let's sand down over here I'll get a little more speed into it. You can see the sawdust and take a look at that corner that we knocked off. Not bad all around. Let's drill the hole. I have a drill bit in there now. <laughs> Clean through, no problem. So that all worked very well. Here's a wire brush and this key over here is really, really dirty and tarnished. So let's go ahead and clean that up with the wire brush. I just did a very quick job, but it made very quick work of that. Take a look. That is pretty good, 
all around. Not bad at all, just with a little wire wheel. Now let's do some cutting now. Well, not the straightest cut I've ever made, but certainly did the trick without any problem. So you can cut stuff as well with it. These are just a few of the things that you're going to be able to do.